We're going to be demonstrating graph preparation for all inside ACL reconstruction using a quadrupled semitendinosus tendon to make the graph link. As you can see, the graph measures 27 centimeters in length. And this can be quadrupled, and with a 27 centimeter graph, this gives between 65 and 70 millimeters in length for the graph link. The ACL tight ropes are loaded onto the graph preparation station such that all graph preparation can be carried out without an assistant. First, we take a small hemostat and bring the end of the semitendinosus graft through the first ACL tightrope and then through the second. This then creates a short length and a long length as can be seen. The longer end is then brought back through both ACL tightropes to create a quadruple graft with two free ends. These two free ends are then sutured together with a mattress suture using zero fiber wire. In isolation, the pullout strength of this knot is not great. But once it's been incorporated into the graph link, we've tested the pullout strength and the construct fails at approximately 80 newtons. This means that the graph can be manipulated and gentle tensioning carried out without concern the knot will fail. The knot at this stage is on the outer loop of the graph link. This can then be manipulated onto the inner loop by simply inverting both ends of the graft as can be seen. The graft is essentially turned inside out. As you can see, the knot is sitting on the inner loop. Care is taken not to put too much tension through the graft at this stage. The graft is then sutured in the standard way with zero fiber wire. Starting on the inside and working out with the needle. The needle can be seen to be passing through all four limbs of the graft link and this is repeated. We then pass the suture three to four times around the graft. Note that I keep my index finger on the loops that I've just made. By doing this, they don't unravel and tension is maintained. The needle is then brought back through the center of the graft and is tied in the standard way. To bury the knot, we then cut the short end and take the needle out through the graft link to bury the knot. Now the graft has been secured and we can start to apply tension. To finish graft preparation, the zero fiber wire is used once more at the other end of the graft. Again, starting on the inside and coming out and then going back through all four limbs. And once more, I go around the graph three to four times, again, keeping my index finger on the loops so they don't unravel. And bring the needle through centrally and finally tie. Again, we cut the short end and then bring the needle out through the central aspect of the graft and this buries the knot. This is then cut flush as you can see. So our graft is now prepared and you can see here it is measuring 68 millimeters, which is very typical and more than adequate for the all inside reconstruction. We have a minimum of 20 millimeters for the femoral and tibial sockets and 25 millimeters for the intra articular portion. We then use the sizing block. Nine can be seen to be a little tight, 
but the graph link is seen to be passing through the 9.5mm sizing slot. So for this case, we will need to use a 9.5mm flip cutter.